Today I'm reviewing Static, Up All Night. Welcome back to Comics Are Dope, I'm BJ Kicks, and today I am reviewing an original graphic novel from DC Comics and Milestone Media. It's called Static, Up All Night. Now, this book is written by Lamar Giles with art by Paris Elaine, and this has honestly got to be one of my top five favorite reads of the year. Now, you guys know I'm a huge Milestone fan, and if you didn't believe me, I got a whole collection video to prove it. Uh, and so when I heard that this original graphic novel was going to be released for a young adult audience, I was really excited to see exactly what it could be. And now that I've read it, I got to say, it does not disappoint. Now, I read this digitally, but this is a trade paperback with a cover price of just $17. So I will leave a link to it in the description down below if you're interested in grabbing this, picking it up for uh, some young reader this holiday season. You definitely should. Um, but got to give a huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Organic Price Books, for sponsoring this review. Organic Price Books is the best place to go for graphic novels, collected editions, trade paperbacks, hardcovers, and all of the like. And if you are interested in buying books from Organic Price Books, be sure to use the link down below and use my discount code BJKicks. So you'll save $2 on every order, every time. And if you're, you know, feeling like a big baller, then you can buy place an order of four books or more and use the code BJ Kicks ship it together for a discount of 5% on your entire order. Definitely adds up and goes a long way. So huge thanks to Organic Price Books for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get into this review. Because like I said, I read this digitally over the course of a few days and I absolutely loved this book. So the rundown. Uh, like I said, this is a young adult graphic novel. Uh, the trim size is like kind of the same. It's the, it's like that six by nine trim size, which is, I guess, about the size of this book, actually. Um, so if you're familiar with like manga, different graphic novels, it's that size. Um, but basically, this is a book aimed at younger readers. Uh, the book, the cover actually says 13 to 17 year olds, but it is about, uh, a specific night in the life of Virgil Hawkins, a.k.a. Static, a.k.a. to some people, Static Shock. Um, and basically, Virgil has gone through a breakup. Uh, his girlfriend, Daisy, doesn't want to be his girlfriend anymore. That's got him a little bit down in the dumps. And so his best friend, Richie, is like, hey, you know what to take your mind off things if we go to this music festival? So, of course, they go to the music festival. And who's there? Daisy's there. Um, and who else is there? Well, I'll let you find out by reading it. But basically, you know, calamities ensue. A reason for Static sh to show up comes, abroad, comes about. And we now go on an adventure of Static trying to balance being a superhero with being a teenager with emotions, with having these friendships and interpersonal relationships and trying to maintain some semblance of a secret identity all at the same time. This book was so fun, so poignant, and is probably, this book probably has my favorite characterization of Icon and Rocket in it. Uh, so Rocket does come up as a major player in this book, a major ally in this book, if you will. She's got to team up with Virgil and Richie to stop this threat that is uh, basically taking out Bang Babies left and right for purposes that you'll have to find, you know, when you read the book. Um, so Virgil and Richie meet up with Rocket and another bang baby that we don't know anything about that I'll let you learn about through the pages. And, you know, they just have a nice night fighting crime, trying to solve a bit of a mystery. And of course, learning to deal with each other all the way around. And man, there are so many lessons in this book this book was just awesome. Now, I guess I should give like a few specific notes that I, things that I loved about this book. I already said, I love that this book feels like it's aimed to a younger audience. Now, this is technically like this, the second sort of graphic novel that we've gotten from Milestone specifically about static this year. Um, as I'm filming this, the book, uh, or yeah, the series static shadows of Dakota just wrapped. And that's basically like the main line 
milestone universe in the DC universe with Static dealing with different Bang Babies and uh, in specific Ebon. And what's great about the uh, mainline Static series, the periodical, is that it does a great job, I feel, balancing the static that we know from comics, which was created with a more mature audience in mind, with the static that's created for the animated series, developed obviously with younger minds in mind. And um, I love that Shadows of Dakota kind of balances that really well. It kind of performs fan service in both ways, but it definitely has a more mature feel than this. Uh, this static up all night feels decidedly youthful. And because of that, it feels very familiar if you know uh, Static from the Static Shock animated series, which is great, I think, for today's kids because today's kids are growing up with HBO Max and they're able to binge watch Static Shock uh, to their heart's content. They're not like me, had to wait for reruns and DVDs and stuff like that. And so if you're watching Static Shock and then you read this book, they feel very much like the same character. And I think that is key. Um, another thing that I love about this is that it pays homage to what came before in very subtle ways. There's a really cool nod to Dwayne McDuffie in here. Uh, we even get like, you know, familiar comic book stuff where they'll name a street after a certain figure. Um, there's a Dennis Cowan bridge, I think. I can't remember, but there are nods to the original uh, Milestone creators, which is always nice. Um, and I also love, like I said, how youthful this book feels. Uh, there are references to uh, social media and, you know, the equivalents of TikTok and some of the <laughs> there's this app called Stalker. And I'll let you figure out what it's for. Um, but this book, it's, it feels fresh. It feels like it's for a younger audience, but it doesn't feel like some old man trying to be like, oh, how do you do, fellow kids? Like, it just feels fresh. I really love the way this book feels. And I guess I shouldn't go any further without mentioning how much I love the art by Paris Elaine. The storytelling, the the facial expressions. The facial expressions are amazing as I'm thumbing through this. The screen tones, the colors, the the action, like all of it, all of it is really, really good. Um there's just there's a lot to love about this book. Uh, it's a very quick read. I read it in an afternoon. Like I said, I might it might have been two afternoons because I'm a busy man. But regular kid take this one Saturday morning. They will absolutely finish it by Saturday afternoon. And it is just awesome. Like I'm just going to show off some pages um, and I'll try to do them out of order so that I'm not spoiling any context for you. Another thing that I love about this book, um, ever since Milestone came back, they've been playing around with the idea um, or they, they've been made, they've made it, made it clear that they think the idea of a secret identity is kind of outdated. And so the ways that people know who each other are, they play with that in really fun ways in this book. Uh, but all in all, man, this book is awesome. Like it feels it feels fun when it needs to feel fun. The stakes feel high when they need to feel high. It feels tense when it needs to feel tense. All in all, man, this book was just excellently done. And I got to say, I can't remember if I mentioned this already, but my favorite kind of surprise element of this book is we get an appearance from Icon. And first of all, he's wearing his classic costume. We have not seen this costume since like 1997. So I love that. But also, uh, we get the best characterization of his and Rocket's relationship that I've seen since Milestone came back two years ago. You get the old conservative, old fashioned man trying to like talk down to the new generation in a very like get off my lawn, pull up your pants kind of way. And it is the funniest thing about this book. And it's, it's just there. It's just, it's just there. I love that this pays homage to a lot of classic elements that people may not remember, let alone have ever even read about the original milestone, right? Like Raquel is still a teen mom. Uh, you know, Virgil's parents still don't quite know what all he's got going on. Like, it's just great. This book is awesome at every turn. 
And there's really not much I can say without spoiling it. And so I will stop short. But before I stop, I got to say, you need to read this book. When I read it, there's really like no notes. There's even a bonus story that ties directly into something that happens in the middle of this book that feels inconsequential, but the bonus story just kind of expands on it. Like, well, what if this happened after that scene? And that was amazing. This book is a riot. And this is my first experience with one of the DC young adult graphic novels, but it's honestly makes me want to get into more of them. And I don't know, like, you know, how much of that's going to translate because this was milestone. And, you know, I'm a black kid at heart. Uh, I mean, I'm always black, but I'm a kid at heart. And this just, this hits so many different markers for me, but this does make me want to go back and read more DC graphic novels for young adults because something about catering to that childlike audience just brings a sort of purity to the work that is really, really admirable. Lamar Giles, Lamar Giles, sorry, I had to say it both ways in case I was wrong. But Lamar does an amazing job with the pacing, with the dialogue, with the storytelling. Like I said, it does not feel like an old man trying to talk like a kid. It just feels like kids in a book. And that's awesome. And the art by Paris Elaine is second to none. It works so well. This book, I cannot recommend highly enough. It gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Definitely certified dope. And you also, you absolutely need to pick this up. For yourself or for a kid in your life, you won't regret it. Now, this review was part of the 25 Days of Comics. I'm bringing you a comic book video every day in December, all the way up until Christmas. So if you're not caught up, maybe you missed out on the Milestone Collection video or any of the videos on the playlist, then click that playlist and get caught up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. That way you're notified when the next one goes live. Huge thanks to all the channel family that makes videos on this channel possible. And of course, a huge thanks to Organic Price Books for sponsoring the 25 Days of Comics. I'll talk to you guys in another review real soon. Till then, be safe, stay awesome, and uh, read something dope today. Peace.